On December 31st, 2019, Scott Paper Company had a deferred tax asset of $40,000. At December 31st, 2020, the deferred tax asset is $62,000. The corporation's 2020 current tax expense is $70,000. What amount should Chai report as total 2020 income tax expense? Prepare the journal entries. Okay. So this is asking us to prepare the journal entries and they're giving us the deferred tax asset. But what we have here is an opening tax asset. So we've got the current tax expense. So we've got current tax expense of $70,000. We've got current tax expense of 70,000 which is given right here. Then we've got deferred tax. And it says that we have a deferred tax asset. The company had December 31st, 2019. So our opening was 40,000. And this is our ending, December 31st, 2020, the year after. So deferred tax asset. So we're going to have deferred tax asset uh, December 31st, 2020. So we want this to be 62,000. And our opening deferred tax asset on December 31st, 2019 was $40,000. So what entry, so what do we need to do on our balance sheet to get these accounts to, to change, to match? We need to increase our deferred tax asset account. So this is gonna be um, our increase to our deferred tax asset. It's going to be $22,000. So our total income tax expense So this is an asset. So our total as income tax expense is going to be 70,000 minus our 22,000 of our benefit from our deferred tax. So it's going to be the net, which is going to be $48,000. This is our total income tax expense. So what are our journal entries to record these? Well, we know that for current income tax expense, which is this balance, we're gonna go debit, current tax expense. And this is gonna go through our income statement for 70,000 and credit income tax payable Statement of financial position is going to be 70,000. And then our deferred tax asset, we want to increase it by 22,000. So we're going to go debit, deferred tax asset. And this is a statement of financial position account. We're going to increase it by 22,000. And then we're going to go credit deferred tax benefit. which is the opposite to deferred tax expense, goes through our p &L as a positive, a reduction to tax, which is gonna be 22,000. And those are our two entries.